Hello YouTubers. Today I'm making uh, collagen bone broth my way. So uh, join me to see my recipe and uh, learn some of the health benefits along the way. So uh, to make the broth, I usually just cut up one big onion or maybe two. And uh, we're going to be using uh, a crock pot and we'll be cooking it for 24 hours. Um, you, know, the, you know, you can get away with 12 to 18 hours, but the longer you keep, the longer you keep it uh, in the pot, the more nutrients you're gonna get out of the bones and the vegetables. So I would keep it on for 24 hours. To start it in the morning and uh, it'll be ready by the next day when you wake up so nice and easy and your house will smell nice so what you need is uh, just go to your butcher and get a whole bunch of beef bones some uh, with cartilage and some with uh, bone marrow and you know a little bit of meat on them and stuff whatever he they sell like uh, your butchers or you just ask them and then uh, you have to boil them first anyway so set up your crock pot first put on all the vegetables and uh, get that ready get it cooking Just, you know, squeeze them all together so you can put the meat on top. You don't have to uh, take off any skins. You can throw in your garlic with the skin on and the onions. So, yep, about maybe five cloves of garlic. Not too much more because it'll overpower the taste and uh, a couple onions anyway so you have to boil all the bones once the water starts to boil for 10 minutes and keep removing the scum while it's boiling you know just keep uh, skimming it and then after 10 minutes take it out rinse and wash the bones real good just they got to be really clean You want them as clean as possible. You don't want any you know, dirty or scummy broth. You just want it to be nice and clear. So 10 minutes of boiling will get rid of most, pretty well all the scum. And then just wash it off. Put it in a different plate. Rinse it off easier now that's after 10 minutes of removing scum and then you clean it again let's just get like a strainer throw everything in there wash them off Let's say about maybe uh, two or three tablespoons of salt. That also helps it keep in the fridge longer. I cut it up and put it in baggies and freeze it anyways, but salt's good. Vinegar's uh, also good, so make sure you use organic vinegar. Everything in here has got to be really good. A couple of maybe three bay leaves. And also the water you're going to use in here should be like distilled or reverse osmosis the cleaner the water the better 
and then just try to squeeze all the bones in all around oh I forgot also get a couple of chicken carcasses in there too that's for uh, the type 2 or collagen or 3 or something like that anyways it's both better to have both should have beef and chicken then you're covering all of it Nice and clean. So I'm using uh, my reverse osmosis water. This is good as distilled. Too high because I'm just gonna boil over. Enough. If you fill it right up, for sure it's, it's going to be boiling over. On low, not high. Make sure it's on low. There's Daisy. And a crock pot. It's been 24 hours. So now I took all the bones out. And Get a nice uh, cotton dish towel. I ordered some nice, nicer ones, but you could just use whatever you got as long as it's clean, cotton, and uh, put it over a bowl and then over the towel. As you can see, you put a strainer in, so that way you get the broth out, and at the same time you're saving all the good stuff that you can eat. This is all the sticky and stuff. All the good stuff is in here that I can eat. Right now, I'd rather eat poodle shit and put that in my mouth. I just said that. So what I do with all that stuff is I clean it all up and take out the meat. I mean, take out the bones and save all the meat and bone marrow and all that. And uh, put it like in a plastic container with a little bit of broth and stick it in the fridge and you make uh, kind of a th like a head cheese and then you could just eat it like that or what I do is uh, I just cut it in little pieces and put it in my soup in the morning so this is uh, one of the plastic containers you just pour that in there and stick it in the fridge for a couple hours and it'll come out nice and congealed and hard and clean. Okay, so it's all done. I made a whole bunch of uh, collagen or beef broth, whatever you want to call it. And uh, all the leftovers from the bones, the marrow, and the meat. I uh, took all the fat out and uh, just a little bit of uh, beef broth so it congealed. And uh, I made some, like almost like a head, head cheese. So what I do is I uh, just cut up a little slice off of that, chop it up like this, put it in a baggie. And uh, maybe about chopped up meat, about maybe two and a half to three ounces. Usually, and then fill it up with uh, the collagen to make it up to 10 ounces. Eight, 
Need more brush. Now, looks like a cup of coffee. Ten. Okay. Say the twelve ounces. Put it in baggies. So there's a baggie. Okay, there's a whole bunch in there. I'm just keep filling it up. Whenever you feel like it, I usually try to have one each morning anyway, so every morning. So do that diet for like, I don't know, a week or two. And uh, you should get some good results. But it tastes good too. So this would be a good time uh, to discuss some of the health benefits. So uh, one of them is healthy digestive system. And uh, also supports the production of anti-aging molecules. Help keep, keep your uh, you know skin young. Um, improves your mood. Another one is a uh, healthy heart. Definitely healthy skin. It clears up your skin and gets rid of your wrinkles or you don't get wrinkles. It brings the elasticity back. Uh, it promotes sleep and healthy bones. Also healthy joints. Bone broth contains both chondroitin and glucosamine. These are thought to be able to reduce symptoms of osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. It also contains collagen and gelatin, which can slow spread of joint diseases and decrease pain. Also, it's good for weight loss. Here's the beef tallow. That's all the fat that I scraped, you know, scrape off the juice and all that. And, uh, I'm gonna boil it a little bit more or heat it up and put it in, you know, jars or a bag or whatever, you can use that. If you're like, you know, up north in the winter where you need more fat, you can always add some of that in your soup for taste and protein. So that's good to save. All right, let's get to making that soup. Okay, enough we go for the soup. So, put a little bit of beef tallow in it. Put in uh, the meat and broth with collagen. That's my uh, breakfast every day. Put in a teaspoon of, uh, half a teaspoon of ginger paste. You can also add some uh, turmeric. Turmeric paste. Well, a teaspoon of lemon. And a couple of tablespoons of that pasta or whatever it's called. Real thin stuff. Like a quarter cup. Stuff is great. How about turning it on? The lemon helps uh, your body to absorb all the good stuff that's in the soup. So you gotta have lemon in it for sure. You can, you know, also add some uh, apple cider vinegar for taste if you want to, optional.
and uh, some more of the health benefits that other we left off at weight loss is a good source of beneficial amino acids and you know it's good for digestion and uh, gut health and it's some kind of disease called uh, leaky gut syndrome it fixes that I mean you can put whatever you want in it you can throw some garlic and onions in it if you want you know pretty well anything just make your soup get some frozen vegetables in there make it a real soup like you know you can build to it but the good stuff is already in that's all you care about the collagen and you know the bone marrow and sticky stuff from the bones and the bone broth so that's pretty hearty it's pretty filling too so if you have one of those for lunch or for breakfast whatever <laughs> depending on where you are if you're up north just doesn't matter what it is. Also with that uh, collagen, you could just cut up your favorite meat, some ham and this and that, and throw it in one of those plastic containers and uh, you can make some kind of uh, head cheese like your own the way you like it cut it up and uh, have sandwiches I mean uh, meat bone marrow and sticky stuff huh? it's pretty tasty okay it's boiled it's good enough soup nice and hearty whoa smells good oh wow that's good you know another thing you can add to it is like uh, apple cider vinegar whether it's like you know lemon you should add because it helps with uh, absorption but you know also some apple cider vinegar wouldn't help wouldn't hurt i mean that's also good for you so that's it all done thank you very much other than uh, the tallow you know you just heat that up a bit just a little bit and then uh, pour it in a bag or a jar and save it in your fridge bring it uh, to the cabin or whatever you know back up fat just like uh, bacon fat. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.